Hello. My name is Janet Wolfman and I live in New York. I'm the New York half of the Durga Mom Global Help Center. The other half in India is a very bright, talented, and hardworking young man named Rahul Nag who lives in Tinsukia, Assam, North India, where our story begins. Here's a little information about India. The population of India is approximately 1.27 billion people, give or take a few million since the census is not very accurate. At last count, there were approximately 350 million people living in the street or starving. And that is a pretty bad record for a country that is industrial and is one of the richest countries in the world. Rahul and I met on Facebook, and ad after a lot of messaging and chatting and talking on the phone, Rahul suggested that we begin our global health project by giving out food, clothing, and other essentials to the street people in his city. And I, well, I wasn't doing that much. I was at loose ends, and I immediately said yes, okay? And I'm not going to tell you a lot about our story, since you're going to watch it very shortly. But the, what we wanted to do in our project, something very different from the usual charities or NGOs, what we wanted to do was get to know the people in the street personally and to help one person at a time, to get to know their story, to ask them why they were in the street, to uh, know a lot of personal personal information about them and to help them, to educate them, to uh, ask them what they wanted to do in life and to help them get there and to uh, give them basically life lessons and help them reach the highest potential they could, just like any other person. Our project started around February of 2014 and right now we're in the middle of October. Now, through the past months, we've gotten to know a lot of our street people personally. We know their names. We know their stories. And they've become like our family. We love them. Some of them love us back. And like any family, we've had dinner. We'd have dancing. We've had discussions. We'd play games. We taught the children how to sing and dance. And uh, some of the people in the street love us. Some just like us. And some hate us, but that's normal, right? Okay. Also, some new folks have shown up. Some people have disappeared. And two of our street girls recently died. So, come with us now. In real time, with our small 10 and 12 megapixel cameras and our slow computer, come journey with us to Tinsukia, Assam, from the railroad, to Tanachari Ali, just across from the vacant lot. On one side of the street is a beautiful hotel, is a shopping mall, is the police station, and on the side of the street that we're concerned with is an abandoned lot where our people sit. And if you happen to be in Tinsukia today, you never can tell, you might be walking through, you'll see our people. One of our favorite people is Lakshmidar, also known, also known as the snake lady, because she can suck the poison out of a snake bite just in case you get bitten. Meet Lakshmidar, meet her daughter Poonam, meet her grandson Kishan, and all the rest of the people in our lot. They're sitting there in front of the lot they once called home, now destroyed by forces beyond our and their control. This is not a screenplay. These are not movie stars. These are real people in real time, and this is a real story about real life. Come, take a walk to Tanachari Ali. Close your eyes. Now open. Here are the stars of our film.